Hello YouTube, this is SinK101 and I'm back today with another RPG Maker tutorial and like I said before, we're going to get into mapping today. So uh, first off, like we, like I've got here from our last tutorial, we uh, have our little basic square of land. And, um, on this square, we're going to turn this to an island where you will start your adventure and whatever this is going to be. Okay? Okay. <coughs> so first off, let's get started. Okay. These are the three different layers, as I explained in the first tutorial. And uh, these two are the same because they're going to be overworld layers. And this is the bottom layer where we will have the actual, like, grass, ground, houses, things of that sort. Now, uh, let's start off. Uh, first, what we want to do is take some water. You right click there, click that. As I said before, get used to doing some of this because we're going to be doing a lot of it. <coughs> and what we're going to do... We're gonna make this island look more like an island, I mean a square. No island is actually square. Have you seen a continent that's actually square? I think Australia might be square. No, we both know it's not. Okay, so anyway, getting what I was doing. Let's just uh take this whole square out, like just take it out. Okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little different way on mapping. We're gonna just draw scribble. Oh gosh, no, we don't wanna do that. My bad. Make sure you're on pencil tool. Okay, now we're gonna scribble. Rah, rah. Scribble that island on there. <coughs> Paint bucket, fill it in. Looks sort of like a star, a very weird demented star. Okay, next we want to give it some detail. Okay, so take this one, this is dark grass. Take your pencil again and just go nuts over it. Like, just go like all kinds of nuts all over it. Just give it randomness, random patches of grass. And as I always do, I always take some of this and cover it back in because of these patches of grass I always end up making, like, weirdly. Sometimes, I mean, you can keep them if you want, but I like to make the patches a bit smaller sometimes. <coughs> okay, and uh, there we go. That is our first step to the island. We now have a star island with some little grassy effects. Throw some more grass up really quick, actually. Oh, from here. There we go. Okay, now we got an island. Okay, next step, we're going to add some houses. Ooh, houses. Okay. First off, let's make this the player house. You know what? Actually, the player is going to live in a wood house. And we're going to put it right here perfectly, just right up there, out of nowhere, right there. Okay? Okay. And with that, we are going to give it a roof. Now, you can choose blue or red, whichever. I'm going to go with blue. Okay, so we're going to place the roof. <coughs> there we go, basic house. Now there are many ways you can do roofs actually. You can do roofs a bunch of different ways, and I can show you a bunch of different ways. Um, you can come over to this layer and take these and put it right there and there if you wanted to. And um, then you could take this tile right here and place it right there in the center. And then just get rid of this back thing here. And if you take a look, I believe that. Okay. Take a look in this. That's a little roof. Now I'm not very fond of those roofs because they look they look a bit odd if you look at them. It's really, really small. And your house looks even smaller. So I, I'm not very fond of those. I used to be, but then I realized what it really looked like. It didn't look like a roof. So today we're gonna be sticking with the normal little roof like that. <coughs> okay, next step, we're gonna be adding some features to our little house to make it a little more presentable. First of all, let's add a pathway going to the house. A little three steps forward. That'll work fine. Alright, next off, let's add, um, what are we gonna add here? Maybe our person owns a farm. Now, if you place this over water, as you see, it easily just turns it into a grass block anyway, so. Or grid, whatever. Play Minecraft recently. Okay. Oh, we got a little farm now. Let's place another one. Maybe he has two farms. Never know. Never know what this farmer's gonna be doing on his spare time. Never know! Don't screw with me! Okay. And uh, now, we are going to add. What are we gonna add? Okay, let's add some of this. <coughs> Maybe he sells produce. In his spare time, it's the produce. Alright, and that looks like it'd be good for our house. Okay, let's move on to the second layer. Now we're in a second layer. I just said that, okay. Second layer. Now we're going to add some more detail to the house. 
Like, okay, for instance, we want a mailbox. Every house can have a mailbox. There's our mailbox right there on the grass. Perfectly just saying there, if we want mail, we got it. Okay, maybe let's add some bushes, like right here and here. A little decorative, maybe also, like, I guess that's enough bushes, actually. I don't see anywhere else I want to put them. <coughs> okay, and then we're gonna... Hmm, what are we gonna do? Okay, let's add some trees, actually. That'd be a great idea. Okay. So just, just throw these trees all over the place, just like you did with the grass, sort of. Just throw them all over the place. We'll fix any problems we have with them afterwards, as you already see I have one. Okay. Okay, and a booyah. Just clear those out. Just clear that out. Okay. And some trees. Okay. <coughs> Next off, let's add some rocks. You know, you gotta have some rocks on an island. You want know, island to have rocks. Okay, so just throw some rocks all over the place. And get a fantasy look. And someone's calling me on Skype. Hang on. I'm back. Okay. Sorry about that. I had a person call me on Skype. Anyway, uh, then we're gonna replace our rocks, okay? Now we have this smaller boulder. We don't want them all to look the same. Add some variety. Click on the rocks, sort of. That's what I sometimes do, because I don't want too many of one kind of rock. So I just throw them all in place, add a few more of these, <coughs> and then I'll be fine. Okay, great. Moving right along. Now, windows. Do windows. Do you want open windows or closed windows? I think our farmer likes to have his windows open. So, place those open windows, and there you go, you got open windows. I really don't like the look of that, though. So, you know what? We're going to go closed. Closed windows. There we go. And uh, then he has some piles of wood. Just piles of wood. <coughs> I'll add into the decoration. Okay. Now then, we have piles of wood. We got trees. We have rocks. What else are we missing? Neighbors. Yes. Every town needs neighbors. I mean, it's a town. You don't have just one person living in a town. So let's go ahead and make another house. Just throw one in there. You know what? We'll throw in an armory. We're gonna throw in an armory right over here. Just like right. Here. There we go. How about that? Okay, then we're going to take the same kind of roofing. <coughs> okay, now we're going to have to move this tree a little bit over because, you know, it's in the way of our little armory. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, then we'll take some path. One, two, three. You don't have to do three. I just prefer three. Not going to lie. And we're going to connect them because, you know, we all got to connect somewhere. And that's perfect. Look at that. Look at that nice little path. Okay, over by the armory, we're gonna have to make it look like an army. So now, let's, how about we put a sword? You know what? Put a sword there and a shield there. You can do both. It's just cool like that. This guy is gonna have open windows. I mean, it's gonna be hot in the armory, right? Alright? Okay. <coughs> you know what, actually? I'm just trying something here. Uh, yeah. You could put the windows up there, I guess, but I'm not gonna put them right next to the roof. It's the way this map is, I know, like, it may seem weird, but the way they made the maps with RPG Maker 2003, this is way back. Final Fantasy era, this is how things were. Anyway, moving along. Um, okay, now, we have our armory. Let's give it a little, uh, spiffing up. Spiff it up a bit, let's get some bushes, you know. We have some bushes outside of the armory, because it's totally awesome. And, uh, maybe it's a dead body. There's gonna be a story behind this dead body just over here. People gotta ask about it. And then there's gonna be a little thing here that tells you how to get around town. Okay. I think that's enough for maps. So, let's get on to actual, you know, doors. Now, this goes into the eventing section, which, like I said, we're not gonna get to today. I'm going to show you the doors, okay? So, what we're going to do is create a new event. Ignore all this. Just ignore everything here. You didn't see it, okay? We're going to click set. You're going to go down. Maybe not. I think you go down. Yeah, you do, okay. And then you're going to give yourself a door. it be an object one. And we're going to have this door, because it's a wooden house, so why not? And we're going to put that door there. Also, name it door. I'll name it home door. You don't have to name it. I mean, you don't have to, but I prefer naming it. 
Control C, Control V, double click, the armory is gonna have this like awesome door like this. <coughs> there we go. And this will be called the armory door. And now we have doors. And now we can test our map. We're gonna spawn up here in front of our house because that's where we wanna go. And we're gonna test our little game here. Test pl please wait. Please wait and test play at the same time. You know? I'm gonna test play while please wait. I'm gonna please wait and test play. That's how I roll. Okay. Sorry about that. This thing just takes a little bit to test play. I hit RPG Maker 2003. Not really. JK. Okay. Um, no. Well, I don't think I'm against RPG Maker 2003. I did convert to XP. I wish I'd be X. But yeah. I would love to keep making these tutorials for you guys because like, you guys do gotta know how to use this. I'd love to see you guys make some games. You can always remember who taught you how to use it. Sid J101. Victory! While it's loading up, I'll let you guys know I made a Twitter. If you wanna follow me, it is at Sinke. Throwing some things out there. Also, uh, a few other things. Oh, I'll go into that later. Okay. Here we go. New game. Oh, that was a very loud noise. You don't even want to add that noise. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, now it's black. Okay, here we go. See this? We got a nice little home, little house here. And we got a little village. Can't walk into the sign, because there's a sign. Can't walk through it. Go over here. Now, if you guys do want to know something cool about this, if you hold control while on the editor, you can actually phase through parts of the map you're not supposed to be able to. Like, see, you can't go to the house? No, I can't. Because you're phasing through parts of the map. Hold down control. It's just a little thing you can screw around with, I guess, if you wanted to. And you can just kind of quick Oh, why didn't you see me? Okay. But anyway, yeah, that was mapping, guys, and uh, thanks for. you serious. Hang on. I'm terribly sorry about that. This has been a horrible tutorial today because I've, have a, I've had two people call me on Skype now. Goodness. Okay. Anyway, that has been our mapping tutorial, and uh, yeah, just make sure you keep your maps in a certain tack, because I like to see good maps. Anyway, as for the rest, um, what was I saying? Okay, next tutorial, we will get into eventing, I think it was, in our schedule, and don't think I'm going to quit on you. I think a lot of you thought I was going to quit on you, but I'm not. But uh, as some sad news, the Grand Theft Auto tutorial playthrough, not tutorial. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas playthrough has been put to a stop because my computer had an issue and I had to delete it. So, I will hopefully get back to that sometime when I get it installed and get caught back up with everything, but it's kind of on hold right now. Not stopped, on hold. But, uh, I will continue these tutorials because they're working fine. And, uh, thanks to our new recording software, Camtasia, we got this game going. And like I said, you can follow me on Twitter now. It's at SinK. Um, you can subscribe if you like my videos. It'd be cool. Uh, thank you for all the views. I have uh, I was actually offered to earn revenue for one of my videos because you guys have been giving me a lot of views. I like my few subscribers. I don't have many. I, I love you guys all that watch my videos because I mean, it makes me feel special. I'm making, making videos and you guys are like them. So that's good. And uh, thank you guys for that. And uh, I will give you another tutorial, hopefully sometime this week. I don't want to go missing for another few months again. Sorry about that, by the way. It's just things have been busy and hectic, but that was our tutorial for today. So thanks for watching. Please uh, give me a thumbs up if you like. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't like. I wouldn't really mind. I mean, it's your own opinion. Opinions are opinions. You better give me a thumbs up. I'll kill you. I'm joking. Okay, but anyway, uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer those if you notice my other videos. I love answering comments because I check my YouTube multiple times a day. Okay, so I will answer questions. Uh, you can email me if you want. That's aqhayward at gmail.com. I think that's in my profile. I don't know. And uh, yeah, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you want to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter. I'd be happy to chat. And uh, I added some new things to my channel. You can also add me on Steam if you wanted to. And uh, yeah, it'd be awesome. So if you wanted to add me on Steam and play games with me, maybe. Uh, I'm going to try to set up an event if I can get a few of my subscribers, like you guys, I don't have many of you, but if anybody wants to, just send me a message, 
And uh, I'm going to see if I can start making videos with some of my subscribers that actually make videos or something. If you make videos and want to play a game with me and let's record it, I'd be happy to. And uh, we could do that through Steam or whatever. But anyway, that's my video for today. Thanks for watching and uh, have a great day. Enjoy your game making.